All right, hello everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please, uh, this video will be short because we are going to get them busted, and we will make it easy for you to download it later so you can share. Somebody post a video in the comments of my videos. A video is called 10 Things About Jesus in Islam. Biscuit. Now, I found that this video is kind of a comedy, stupid, and deceive, deceiving uh, video. And if you see the comment made here uh, by some Christians who they are naive, you know, trying to, the Muslim, the whole purpose of those videos is to make you believe that we Muslims and Christians, you know, we share the same God and uh, Muslims really appreciate Jesus. I want to remind the Christians that if you are really a Christian, you should not forget that the Bible says all over, and here we quote for you one verse at least, in 1 John chapter 2, verse number 22, it says it clearly, who is the liar? Who is the liar? The liar is the one who denied the Father and the Son. The one who denied Jesus the Christ to be the Son and deny the Father. So, if Muhammad, the whole idea of Islam, is denying Jesus to be the Son of the Father and denying that there is a Father, so how in the world do Christians even listen to their lies? Who is the liar? The liar, according to your Bible, is Muhammad. So I'm not really surprised when I see a video like this trying to present that Islam really is a religion who really love Jesus and they appreciate Jesus. You see, we Muslims, we love Jesus, but we've been taught in the Quran to kill you Christians. As we see in chapter 9, verse number 29. Muhammad, he ordered his followers to slaughter every Christian and every Jew. With no exception and if you want to live you have to pay the Muslim they might lie to you and say as well This is tax you come to my country and you force me to pay you to live This is not tax if we go to Ibn Kathir just to get them busted with their lies You will see even the Quran says what they are we are nudges. We are dirty. We are filthy the Quran call us all kinds of names We are the worst of creatures. We are the evil doers. We are the filthy and here you will see that the Quran says that we should be humiliated, we should be disgraced, we should be killed if we don't convert to Islam. Fight against those who believe not in Allah know the last days. From who? Specifically from the people of the scriptures. Who are they? The Christians and the Jews. Until either they convert or they pay. So what is the problem? Convert or die. And this is what Muslims they call it jihad. So the Muslims in their videos they try to give you an image which is not exist that Islam really loves Jesus. And Islam says, Muhammad he says assalamu alaikum. Do you know that Muhammad he said assalamu alaikum? Yes, Muhammad he said assalamu alaikum, but yet he killed the Christians and he did not say assalamu alaikum to the Christians. Actually, Muhammad he said that if you see a Christian in the street, don't say to him assalamu alaikum. In fact, he said you should force him to walk in the narrow alley and we will see that in front of us And this is the book of Ibn Kathir one of the biggest scholars of the Muslims So the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dimma which means the Christians or elevate them above the Muslims for they are miserable disgrace humiliated And even the Prophet said read with me. This is not my words This is Muhammad saying don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet them in the road force them to the most narrow alley what does that mean? In the old days, the sewers used to be open. So a Muslim have a duty if he see you in the street after he occupy your land and after he force you to be a third or fourth hand citizen, which means you are no one. You are not even equal to dust or dirt. He have a duty to humiliate you. So if he see you in the street, he have to push you in the sewage. The sewage in used to be open sewage in the side of the road. Yet in their videos, they are trying to fool you to say, do you know that the Quran mentioned Mary? Do you know the Quran mentioned and accept that Mary she was a virgin? But do you know that Muhammad he says that he is going to have sex with Mary? They try to fool you, says we respect Mary. If you respect my mother, you don't say I'm going to F her. What kind of a prophet he is and what kind of a dignity he have when he says, you know what? Allah, he promised me Mary in my bed. So Muhammad, he loved Jesus, but he says to Jesus, I'm going to have sex with your mother. If I say to a Muslim, I want to have sex, and by the way, you know, I mean, look how savage he is. A woman, she is extinct centuries before him. Why Allah want to give you Mary? Who are you? 
and why she is a gift she is a sex toy she is a joy to enjoy she is someone we can give her around who are you this man he have a mental issue even the wife of the Pharaoh is part of the package the wife of the Pharaoh Mary you name it and Allah he promised him the power of 4,000 men in heaven so they make videos for you in order to fool you because they think you are a fool they think you are just a Christian who know nothing about Islam so we can mention to you whatever we want and it doesn't matter what we say how you will know you are just a Christian how a Christian will know how a Christian is going to understand who is going to teach the Christian a Christian who do not read a Christian who hear from his churches that Muslims are Abrahamic which is absolutely false a Christian who hear from his priest that Muhammad is from Ishmael which is absolutely a big fat lie how a Christian will know if all the media sponsor Islam if we speak something against Islam you took take our videos one by one if Muslims they say and make videos of beheading the videos stay there for years beheading of a Christians be hidden of the Jews be hidden of the Yazidi be hidden of the infidels just say the truth and you will see the doors of hell will open on you be a liar be a hypocrite be a politically correct then you are fine not only in the verse after chapter 929 Allah he says Allah. Do you know what Allah mean? May Allah kill them. Who? The Christians. For they believe in Jesus that he is the son of God. For believing in Jesus, the son of God, in Arabic it says, Allah, which means Allah kill them. So in a the video they will say to you, do you know that we mention the name of Jesus more than the name of Muhammad in the Quran. Will Muhammad he have to use his name because his name is a glorious. He have to use the name of Mary. He have to use the name of Abraham. He have to use the name of Moses because he need a credit. And always the scammers they cannot build their empire without using the good names. So using the good names does not prove that Muhammad is a good man. In fact, it is the opposite because Jesus said, if you are of your father Abraham, you do the act of your father. Muhammad was a criminal, a thief, a killer, a rapist. He killed the Christian, he raped the Christians. Do you know that the Muslims, they took our church in Jerusalem and they transformed the church and they call it to the church of Al-Qumama, which means the church of garbage? And for centuries, they were throwing garbage in the front of the church? Do you know, they say to us that Umar ibn Khattab was a person, he refused even to pray in the church, so the Muslims will not take it. You just admit it, that you Muslims, if you pray inside our church, you take it. And here you will see, it says it recorded that Umar al-Khattab, may Allah bless him and please with him. He made a treaty in terms of the Christians. What is the treaty? Is to be humiliated. Read carefully with me. This document of the servant of Umar al-Khattab, the faithful from the Christians of such, they agree with his term. What is that? He agreed with them. He agreed, you know, that the Christians, they agree with Umar to be humiliated. And you can read the rest of it because we don't have time to read. The Muslims, the, the, the Muslims, they can come to your house and sleep in your house for three days, three nights for free. They can sleep in our any churches anytime, three days, three nights for free. A Muslim cannot even wear a clothes the same as the Muslims. He cannot use names as Muslims. He cannot use a nickname like Muslim. He cannot pray in the street loudly. He cannot fix a church. He cannot fix a faucet in the church. He cannot repair a roof of a church. That is Islam, my friend. And this is why here it says, Read with me carefully. This is why Umar al Khattab he demand his will, known conditions to meet by the Christians. These conditions that to ensure the continued of the humiliation, degradation, and the grace of the Christians. So they lie to you, they fool you, and they believe that we can say to those fool who do not speak Arabic, who do not know Islam. We can say to them some a few words says you know believe we believe that mary is a virgin yes but we want to we are going to have sex with mary we believe in jesus but we, we don't tell you that if you believe in jesus as god we will kill you we believe in jesus and you know we say assalamu alaikum but you do not know they will not tell you that their prophet says don't initiate salam to the christians and the jews and if you meet them in the street humiliate them so what the purpose of those videos is nothing but deception be aware, my friend, 
of false prophets false teachers and not to forget to mention do you know that Muhammad in the Quran in chapter 9 chapter 5 verse number 14 he said that Allah is God he targeted the Christian to spread hatred and enmity for enter judgment day if the God of Islam is a good God why he want to spread hate between us if Islam is region of peace why Allah he hate us to the point he have nothing to do in life except targeting the Christians spreading hatred between them if Allah is the one doing spreading hate so who is the devil what the devil he do for a living if this is what God he does my friend be aware of their deception and in case you do not know Muslims are allowed to lie as you see here in front of us, it says that Allah will string the hatred between the Christians until judgment day. Allah will increase the hatred and the enmity between the Christians, between us as a Christians. For Allah is the devil, my friend. Ask yourself, did Jesus teach you to teach hate? Or Jesus, he teach you to teach love? If the God of Islam is the same as the God of the Christianity, then how come our God says spread love, peace for those who spread peace? Actually, the Quran says it clearly, cry not for peace when you are the uppermost, which means Muslims can lie and say, I love peace when he is not the uppermost. And take you to your attention that Muslim is allowed to lie with no with no shame. If we go to the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 28, and as you see, we are showing you their own Islamic scholars' words, not mine. A Muslim, he have the, all the right to lie as long as he is doing it to non-Muslims. So don't make them fool you. They think you are a fool. The question, are you? This is their Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, explaining chapter 3, verse number 28, as you see. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It says here that a Muslim cannot take a Christian or a Jew as a friend. And if he take them, he is not even a Muslim. And the same we can find in chapter 5, verse number 51. In chapter 5, verse number 51, it says the following, and you will see with me here. Read with me. Take not the Christians and the Jews as a friends. Do you see it, my friend? Do you see it with your own eyes? So we mention too much Muhammad, Jesus. We mention Mary. We mention Moses, but we cannot take you as a friend. But in the video, they are playing as if they are. The, the 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 beautiful birds who love everybody and they sing for peace in the same time in their other islamic website and their interpretation for the quran chapter 3 verse number 28 it says you can not take them as a friend but if you want to say to them that speaking to them in a friendly way but your heart dislike this is okay your heart dislike this is okay this is what the cult of islam is about Please download the video, share it with your friends, and we will be back soon. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.